Hello, welcome everyone. Welcome to COM 1108. This is public speaking class. You guys are with me, Miss Farah over here. Now, first and foremost, for some reason, I do not know why. Okay, I don't know why. I think generally, I don't think it's because of my internet connection. Because, I mean, I watched Netflix yesterday and it's fine. So I don't think it's because of the internet. I think personally it's because of my laptop and I do need to take this laptop to get checked for some reason. Okay, so I think because it's um you know work from home I tend to use more uh, I mean the laptop it I think it's um uh, you know I use my laptop more than what I usually do and I slept at 2ish in the morning yesterday so I reckon my laptop you know doing work so this laptop is slightly, you know, mad at me, I think. So I, I really do apologize, first and foremost. Um, I'm sorry for dragging you guys into this era. And um, the thing is, whenever I do work, it's all right. It doesn't, you know, ch shut down automatically or anything. It's just that when I open Blackboard Calibrate Ultra, it, it doesn't, you know, you guys cannot hear me for some reason. I do not know why. and. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, I don't think it happened to other subjects as well. Maybe it's the timing of our class that makes me so sad because I really, really am excited to, you know, teach and to be with you guys. So I'm so sorry for whatever reason that is. Uh, anyway, I think that we got it through. Uh, we are now here. That's the most important thing. Even though it's just a recorded session. but. Okay, but I'm hoping that this is something that will eventually do more justice to you guys rather than just waiting for me um, to, you know, restart my computer and do, you know, all of these technical stuff while waiting for a class. And I, to be fair, it's, it's, it's not nice for you guys. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for patiently waiting for me earlier and helping me by clicking on google hangout instead of bbcu so you guys are amazing all right so let me stop talking and continue with our lesson for today it won't be something that it's very much because i actually wanted to do a bit more revision with you guys actually okay so i wanted to do a bit more revision because you guys will go for your first test and i will be talking about your first test in a bit all right so let's move forward. I would like to welcome you guys back to our second class in week five. All right. Now, what we're going to do today is that I wanted to brief you guys more on the test, how the format will look like. And I'm planning to open, you know, how open the test so that you guys are aware on how it's going to be like. I won't be showing you guys the test, obviously, but um how to click whatever you know just so that you guys can avoid having any troubles during the test itself all right so we also will be looking at your second presentation now okay i'm hoping to give your um marks for your first presentation as soon as possible probably next week because uh you guys need to get a few, you know, you need to get feedback so that you can improve from your presentation one before you start doing your second presentation we'll talk more about it in a bit okay first of all like how i usually 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 always start my class i always tell my students these are the important ones okay these are the important aspect the important components that will help you to get a to get past you know all of these Whatever that you guys aim for for this course. All right. I understand that this is not your major subject. Okay. It's not part of your faculty subject. It's only like, a, you know, it's something that is compulsory for you guys to do, but it's not part of your degree, uh, sorry, diploma program, for instance. Okay. It's slightly, you know, sidetrack a little bit. But if I were you guys, I would definitely, definitely use this to my advantage and to get an a all right so i want to i want you guys to keep thinking about it and think that you guys are able to do this and remember this is an online class all right in a sense that uh because it's online a lot of the assessments are conducted online 
So you guys have the advantage of, you know, having an open book test and stuff like that, which is a luxury to me as compared to people who have to take this in face-to-face -face classroom. Now, I got to be completely honest, when it comes to presentation skills, the uh, between having a uh, live presentation where you guys have to present in front of the in front of an audience it is very different to recording yourself right so when you record yourself it could be just you and your camera so it's not really something um, that is as much a challenge as compared to having an audience you know watching you presenting so I want you guys to actually take this online presentation course to your advantage all right so i'm not saying that this is so easy you can pass this i'm saying if you do all of these assessments okay all of tests all of you know test one test two presentation one presentation two and presentation three and finally the reflective essay i'm telling you you can easily pass this course as compared to people who have to take this um face to face all right, so uh, we are done with our first presentation that is an individual uh, last week in week four. All right, so several of you guys contacted me saying that they forgot to, you know, to, they forgot to upload their videos, yada, yada. Okay, so if you have yet to complete your first assessment, which is the presentation one, please do email me, all right? So I'm gonna give you guys a second chance now to email me and inform me on that. However, uh, to be fair to other people who have submitted on time, I will still penalize you, but at least you will be able to get some marks, okay? Okay, right, so we're gonna have our first test next week, as you guys can see in the table here. Your first test will be next week, and it's going to be on a Wednesday, right? So it will be on a Wednesday, 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. By all means, okay, automatically means that we won't be having any class next Monday. All right, so next Monday, we won't be having any class. So, whew, that's nice, right? No class on Monday morning, but you guys have to come to um, take the test on Wednesday, 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Now, please be minded. I'm going to talk more about this in a bit, but please be minded that all of your answers will be recorded on Blackboard instead of you typing it in a Word document. So time is very important because if you do not submit your answers on Blackboard, your marks will be gone. All right. So last semester, okay, last semester, June, short semester, first test was only one hour. Okay, so we are giving you guys an upper hand right here. We're giving you guys some extra time for you to actually complete your test. All right, but it does not mean that you should take it very lightly and you want to do this and you're going to take all day long to complete your first test. Don't do that. Okay, so let's talk more about your first test in a bit. But I also want to remind you that your test two will be in week 11, your next presentation, which is second presentation, which I will also talk about in a bit, will be in, due in week eight. Remember, this is week five, so it's going to be very soon. And your final presentation is a group presentation. We shall be talking, okay, I'm going to introduce you guys to your group presentation assignment in week 10. So that you guys can have approximately one month to prepare for your final presentation. And lastly, it's an individual work. We had enough of listening to you guys presenting to us. So we want to see if you guys have what it takes to write a little bit. Okay, so it's going to be a reflective essay and we're going to talk more about it maybe in week 9 as well that I will be introducing you guys to the reflective essay assignment. Right, so depending on whatever um, your aim is for this course, this is the grading list that I will be using, that we will be using to grade you guys for this course. Now, in order for you to pass this course, please make sure that you complete all of the assessments that I have shown you guys in the table before 
and please make sure that you get above 50 to pass all right so 60 percent of your course marks okay you have a uh, 60 percent was it 60 or 70 percent okay so um before you done with your semester okay so before you go for your final exam which is not available or you guys don't have to take final exam for this course all right but at the end of week 14 hopefully or maybe in the week 15 because you have one assignment that is due in week 14 okay so before uh you in a in other words you will be able to know 70 percent of your whole coursework marks okay except for presentation tree and also assignment okay by that by then i'm hoping that you'll be able to see whether or not you will pass this course okay all right so uh this was meant to have a bit more interaction with you guys okay because i'm not really into talking just by myself all right um so what i want you guys to do instead i want you guys to pause this video all right so please do pause this video you don't have to scan this because it's going to be an empty discussion board all right so i want you guys to scan no i want you guys to pause this video and i want you to take a piece of paper and i want you to answer these questions because these are the things that we learned in our previous class all right try and answer these questions try not to look at your notes try to think about this and do you genuinely understand these concepts all right try and do that i'm waiting so i'm gonna give you guys around you know two to three minutes and wait with you guys okay and then only we're going to start discussing about these answers okay do you guys want to hear an asmr <sighs> done all right did you remember a thing or two things about weak language, strong language? Now, these things will not be tested in your first test. Instead, it will be tested in your second test. However, I think it's important for us to understand the concept, regardless whether this will be tested in your test or not. So let's see, what are some of the examples of weak language? What are some examples of strong language? Why do we need to remove weak language? And how do we remove or how do we eliminate weak language itself? Now, when it comes to the concept of strong language and weak language, I often, when it comes to these concepts, I often teach them all together because it's the same thing. You know, it's two dichotomous concepts. All right. If you are able to understand strong language, you will be able to understand weak language in a sense. So, first of all, let's see what are strong language. Now, strong language is when you use words that can describe people. And how do we do that? By describing one's physical appearance and describing one's character and personality when you're describing people using this okay you will tend to use strong language when you give people you know basically strong language is giving a description about something all right so when it is that's the case okay when that is the case you guys are providing with strong language all right secondly you can even try and describe the visual what can you see what color is it all right so use a lot of adjectives when you talk when you give your speech because that will also contribute or help to create a strong language not only that you can even try to describe the sound 
Okay, how does it sound like? What did he um what does it impact on you? Or even now this might be a little bit, you know, hard. Describing sounds, describing smells, but you can tend to compare and contrast with existing smell, existing um sounds that you perhaps have known so that you can use describing words or adjectives to describe the situation itself hence you are using strong language now if you remember if you remember last monday i did show you guys a video of an american three girls talking about you know listening to a friend's story of her experience in france all right so if you listen to their conversation particularly the person who live in france okay if she lives in france uh, france and listen to her describing about her um you know living there okay so that is an example of using strong language if you still do not understand go back to the recording go back to the video and have a re have go and watch it and hopefully you'll be able to understand about strong language more now on contrary weak language is any language that weakens or dilute the message now how do we weak or dilute your message by sounding very hesitating when you're not passionate when you're not sure of something so when you do that okay basically you are providing words that does not add meaning to what you want to say so when you use this a lot of people they would tend to provide fillers so words like um uh sort of kind of you know because so these words do not actually contribute to meaning and most importantly when you talk in front of a group of people or an audience using these words of fillers okay words like um kind of sort of you know you will sound not confident just like the example of video that i showed you guys of a guy trying to present to a company on his creation of the company's logo and he sound very unsure and not confident okay so that is also another example of weak language so the reason why we have to try and eliminate or remove weak language is because you want to people to hear your speech you want people to value your message all right so avoid using words that does not add up to the meaning of your speech all right because if you do that if you use fillers and you use words that does not add to the meaning of your speech you will eventually lose your audience attention now there are several ways for you to reduce weak language now the easiest one to actually pause and this works like wonder now a lot of people think when they speak in front of a people pausing is not a good sign but to be honest pausing is good because it gives you more time and sort of like a relaxation to basically go back and think again on your important point so that you can convey it to your audience okay besides then pausing and thinking okay you can try and identify the weak words and try to remove that how do you know if it's a weak word or not try and record yourself doing the presentation you will and rewatch it rewatch the presentation rewatch the recording then you will notice then you will see that actually you are using weak language now that you have detected the weak language you know the words that you often do that does not add to the meaning of your speech okay try and remove them be conscious about it and remove them instead of using the weak words okay um because try to use strong language again strong language is when you describe a person you describe the visual you use a lot of adjectives 
that can help you or help the reader to visualize your speech. Okay? So, that is about your recap session from your previous class on strong language and weak language. Okay, so what we're going to look at in today's class is that I want to be talking about your first test that will be next week. Ladies and gentlemen, your test one will be 15% of your course marks. That is quite a lot. And it will be next week on Wednesday. So by all means that you guys don't have to attend our class on Monday because you guys will have the time to prepare for your test at 5 p.m. next Wednesday. And the topics that are covered in the test are audience analysis, selecting topic and purposes, organizing and outlining your speech, supporting your ideas. Now, remember supporting your ideas? We did a revision on this, you know, testimony, statistics, quotation, you know, all of these things, yeah? Uh, imagine your opening, close with an action, and techniques to involve your audience. Okay, so these things have been covered in your class before. Please make sure that you know where to locate all of these. And remember to read all of the course materials, including extra notes that I give you. Okay, including videos if i showed you guys any videos go back and watch it all right so but you must watch it before the test because you don't have the time to in that one hour to an hour and a half to complete you know to watch and to actually remember again okay so please do prepare for your test again no class on monday because okay because you will have to prepare for your test on wednesday so for your test one it's going to be an open book test by all means that you can refer to external notes okay you can refer to the course materials however you're not allowed to copy word by word we're going to talk more about it especially for the short essay question Okay, for the test, we have 23 questions, 23 questions, okay, it's going to be via Blackboard, we have 23 questions, the first 20 questions will be short answer, and three more questions are short essay. Okay, so for the short answer, you have to make sure that you got the spelling correct. All right, because as I mentioned, Blackboard is the one who is marking, not me. Okay, so I also made it as part of the setting to make it randomized. Okay, so maybe your short answer, sorry, your short essay will go first rather than your short answer. I don't know because Blackboard will do it for me. But remember, question 21 question 22 and question 23 are short essay and you would know that it's a short essay because there is a situation where you have to answer it and the instructions will be there for you to complete it okay you don't have to worry about it for short answer we have 20 questions and as i mentioned please make sure that you got all of the spelling correct whereas for short answer we have three questions and all of the three questions will be based on the same context or the same situation. All right, we're going to give you a bit like a case study where you have to visualize and answer based on the situation itself. It's going to be very easy. All right, the three questions, you have to answer all of it. Question 21 and question 22, you have the word limit of 100 words, whereas the last question 23 you can you can write up until 150 words okay so plus minus 10 percent don't ask me again miss if i write 200 words how ah? please don't ask me again the plus minus is 10 percent only if you go more than the word limit you will be penalized 10 percent okay all right Please don't ask me again if you write 300 words, 500 words, I will penalize you. Now, let me show you where can you get the question itself. 
Now, this is your blackboard. Okay. This is your blackboard. It's supposed to be our class. All right. So, click on content. So, go to week six because it's going to be next week. And you guys could not see this because it's hidden and you guys can only see this on 23rd of september at 5 p.m it will automatically be here okay so it's a test like this so make sure that you click here and start answering in the blackboard itself okay so you will have to answer in the blackboard itself all right, so the test will automatically be available on 23rd of September, Wednesday at 5 p.m. All right, so moving on, I want to talk to you guys about the short essay. Okay, so for the short essay, I don't think that you have to copy, all right, because it will be based on situations. You will be given a situation and you have to reflect and answer the question based on the situation itself. So I don't think it's necessary for you to go online or on the internet or copy the words from the slides, okay? Please use your own words to answer the questions, okay? If we found any similar answers between you and your friends, or if there is any similar answers between your answer and anything that is available on in the internet and you are caught cheating, okay, you will be penalized and it's going to be ugly, okay? So don't do that. I don't think it's necessary for you to go and find, you know, the answers, okay? It's unnecessary because it's very situational based, all right? All you have to do is just understand the concept and try to apply it based on the situation all right so it's going to be very easy actually all three questions okay all three questions uh will contribute to 10 marks of your test right so initially i wanted to do a kahoot game with you guys because the test is next week and we're going to do a revision but uh, all right, so if you guys have the time, you can scan this QR code and it will link you to the Kahoot game. Try and play it yourself. I don't know if you can play it by yourself. I don't know. Right, so if you can, good for you. If you cannot, we'll try and play it next time. All right, so let's continue to talk about presentation two. So you guys have finished with your first presentation, but we have yet to give you guys the feedback and the marks for your first presentation. Now, normally, typically, when it comes to the first presentation, I will take my time to comment on very, very little things so that you guys can improve for your second presentation. And normally, normally my students will do better in their second presentation because they would take into account whatever comments, whatever feedback that I have given them in the first presentation itself. All right. But uh, we're going to try and complete, uh, you know, providing you guys with the marks for your first presentation, uh, hopefully by next week, so that you guys can start thinking about your second presentation. Okay. So for your second presentation it's going to be a special one because we are having a competition so we're going to have a competition all together with the rest of other students who are taking public speaking all right so it's going to be very interesting now the competition will be based on this sdg now what is sdg sdg here is the sustainable development goals basically it's the target goals that we want to achieve worldwide all right so i'm not going to do the talking i'm going to let malala to talk to you guys about it okay so let's see have a watch at this um youtube video hello my name is malala and i'm from pakistan we have a very urgent mission to complete by 2030, and you can help us. Together, we must fight inequality, end extreme poverty, and respect our planet. I'm determined to do this. Are you? Excuse me. Hello? 
Have you got a minute? But this is important, we need your help. Imagine you're traveling in space. You're looking for intelligent life. You've been traveling for a while because space is very spacious. You've already spotted millions of planets with no life at all, lots of acid, lava, that sort of thing. But nowhere you'd go for your holidays. And then you see it. Earth. A tiny island in space. A little speck of water, rock and soil with a thin veil of air that we can breathe. There might be life out there in space, but here on Earth, it's everywhere. On the land, in the water, in the air. Plants, insects, birds, fish, and every type of living creature. Some beautiful, some, frankly, a, a bit weird. And people, billions of people like you and me. You know, beautiful, reasonably intelligent life. Well, I'm just saying. In most ways, we're just like the rest of life on Earth. We start from tiny seeds, and with the right conditions, we grow and mature. To do that, we all need the same basic things. No, not mobile phones, trainers and Facebook, but fresh water, clean air and healthy food. Without those, we don't last long, no matter how smart our phones are. The good news is that Earth has enough for all of us. The bad news is we've got some serious problems in our way. The first is climate change. The way we're living on Earth now is damaging the very things we need to live. The fuels we burn are choking the atmosphere with gases we can't breathe. We're running out of clean drinking water, but some of us waste it on things that we don't need. And all of this is changing the weather, and that's not even the half of it. The second problem is inequality. Some people on Earth have far more than they need, and most people don't have nearly enough. Many live in terrible poverty. It's just not right. Millions of people are unable to get medicines or healthcare that could stop them from getting sick or cure them if they do. In some places, children complain about having to go to school. In others, millions of children can't go to school at all. Is that fair? The thing is, we're causing these problems. So we can fix them too, if we all work together and get creative. Let me explain. If you think about it, all living things have superpowers. Birds can fly, we can't. Dogs can smell things we can't, which is not always a bad thing. Plants absorb gas that we can't breathe and turn it into air that we can. But human beings have a power that other creatures don't. We are the most creative creatures ever. Our heads are full of ideas and we're great at making things too. And with that power, we've already changed the world over and over and solved thousands of problems. So now we can do it again. The good news is we have a plan plan that can only succeed with your help. There is one organisation in the world that represents the people of 193 countries, and it's entirely dedicated to keeping us peaceful and working together. You may have heard of it, the United Nations. They have just announced the Global Goals for Sustainable Development. These are 17 goals to protect the planet against climate change and make the world safer, fairer and more just for everyone. We have to achieve these goals by 2030. The great thing about a plan is that we can check how we're doing as we go along, give ourselves a pat on the back if we do well, and try harder if not. 2030 isn't so far away, so we need to start right now. There's a lot we can do if we work together and get really creative. We can start by making these goals famous. So find out what they are and tell everyone, and ask everyone to tell everyone else. Then. And this is the exciting bit. See if there's something practical you can do to actually help. If we don't waste food, water or electricity, that would help protect the planet. If we all stick up for people who aren't being treated fairly and respect each other's human rights, that would make a big difference too. There are 17 goals altogether. So lots of different ways in which you can help. We also need some new ideas and new ways of doing things. What if being a girl or a boy made no difference to how safe you feel, the friends you have, or the places you could go? What if we found new ways to make water clean and drinkable? What if we could recycle all of our waste? What else do you think we could do? 
We all live on Earth, and we depend on the Earth to live. We have so many different cultures, but we only have one planet. If we take care of it and each other, and share what we produce fairly and sustainably, everything we need is right here. Someday we may find intelligent life on other planets. In the meantime, let's see how intelligent we can make it down here for all of us. At home, on Earth. I'm just saying. Okay, so that was very beautiful. Um, I'm So in order to support that kind of movement, so what we're going to do in a public speaking course this semester is that uh, we want you guys to to try and speak or try to provide or prepare a speech that is based on SDG goal number three, which is good health and well-being. So the reason why we choose this good health and well-being, because we feel that this is something that is very applicable in today's world uh, because of the pandemic and a lot of the new trends that is going on, such as, you know, mental awareness and stuff like that. So we choose to have SDG3 good health and well-being because we believe that it will help you and us as well to focus on certain issues that we feel very beneficial for people around us. So if you want to know more about SDG number three, all right. So for SDG number three, it's basically focusing on um, trying to provide a better health care for, <coughs> for people in general around the world. So how we uh, several issues that I think that can help you to brainstorm a little bit would be uh, these things. OK, so these are the target people that uh, UN is trying to help but it's not necessary all of these things okay we do have a bit more and a lot more things especially re you know in regards to the pandemic covid-19 and stuff like that so there are a few more things there are a lot more things that you guys can explore in the sdg number 3 but a few things that i would like to highlight just so that it can help you guys with your brainstorming process before you prepare to prepare you guys for your second presentation these are the topics these are the things that you can think about so you guys can think about reducing maternal mortality because uh, it seems that a lot of uh, pregnant women okay pregnant women uh, they have less uh, the ratio of them surviving is actually 70 per 100 100,000 life births so it's quite a worrying data over there so you might want to think about this or uh, you can talk about um, how to prevent death under the age of five years old because apparently children under the age of five okay in all around the country they seems to be there seems to be a number of people who children sorry number of children who are under five years old and they apparently uh, could not make it after the fifth year all right so if you want to do a speech on this that will be great as well or you can think about how or what to fight with communicable diseases okay so certain diseases tropical diseases that you want to focus on such as AIDS uh, TB malaria or any kind of other uh, diseases such as COVID or any kind of diseases that you would like to highlight you can talk about that in your second presentation as well or you can talk about um, promoting health, mental health, because I think that is also one of the trend things that is going on in a lot of social media and a lot of people are becoming more aware. And maybe by, you know, talking about this in your second presentation, that will eventually help you more or help, you know, people around you as well. Okay. And uh, next, you can talk about how to prevent or treat substance abuse like drugs and alcohol, blah, 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 blah. Think about it. Or you can think about how to reduce road injuries and death as well okay you can think about universal access to sexual and reproductive care family planning and education um, if you're keen about this topic but this can be slightly sensitive if you choose this topic please do consult me beforehand 
or think about how to achieve universal health coverage because not a lot of people have um, the money when they you know uh, when they are being tested with um, health issues all right so you might want to talk about that or you can think about how to reduce illness and death from chemicals and pollutions that could be it as well or think about uh, how to prevent or how to reduce the number of people smoking or try to support any kind of research development or access to affordable medicines and vaccines okay so maybe you want to you know maybe you want to provide some some ways or some solutions into how can we have access to more affordable vaccines and medicine or uh, think about how to increase health financing and provide health workforce support for these um, health workforce especially during this COVID-19 because I think this is a very very because they are the frontliners and you might want to do a special speech about them that could work as well or you can try and improve early warning system for global health risks such as tsunami and stuff like that. All right, so these are some of the possible topics that you guys can talk about in your second presentation. Okay, so remember our theme is actually to talk about goal number three, which is to ensure healthy lives and well-being for all people around the world. All right, so you guys can even explore on the sustainable development goals on um, websites as well okay or you can just google or you can brainstorm a lot of ideas uh, using your um, internet okay so please um, by all means uh, the procedure is very similar to your first presentation you have to upload your presentation all right but most importantly most importantly your um, video can be between to inform or to persuade you don't have to worry about this because we shall be talking about informative and persuasive speech in our next class after your test okay so we can talk about how to persuade or how to inform people in more detail in our next class all right but the topic has to be related to sdg number three good health and well-being so your speech can be or should be more than three minutes but cannot be more than five minutes okay so it has to be more than three minutes okay so it's three to five minutes okay so marks will be deducted if you do not follow the time limit all right students are encouraged to discuss with me before you finalize your topic and after you're done providing with your presentation you will ne then need to provide a reflection based on one of your friend's presentation it's the same thing that goes with your first presentation before so as i mentioned before that this competition sorry this presentation will be a competition so we are submitting your videos to uno social center all right, so you know Social Center is a center that provides uh, social businesses to people by empowering them to go for business and uh, to empower the local communities by providing a lot of job opportunity, opportunities and yada yada. So if you are interested in looking at social business, okay, you should because this will highly relate to your final presentation, which is. Uh, the group presentation but i'm not going to crack your head uh, and talk more about that we're gonna touch about social business in week 10 so don't worry so for your second presentation it's going to be a competition so how does it work you have to record yourself on a speech okay that speech has to be three to five minutes and similar to your first presentation you have to remember that your speech has to be recorded in one go by all means you're not supposed to edit you're not supposed to cut or merge your presentation all right students will have to upload their speech in a google drive just like your first presentation however i shall be providing you the google drive later all right so um we're gonna choose the best three presentation to represent our course and then that three best presentations will go against 
top three presentations from other sections as well. All right, so from that nine, so all together because we have three sections, so all of the top nine video speeches, okay, so you guys will have to face external judges to choose the best three prizes. Okay, so we're going to reward first prize, second prize, and third prize. And the winners will have their presentation to be uploaded in Inti Facebook page and Uno Social Business website. Not only that, the public speaking course lecturers will also reward you guys with some token of appreciation. All right, so I am really excited about this project and I hope that you guys are too. So please, I try and do your best in your second presentation. Okay, so before we end our class today, because uh, it's less, you know, it's all me talking, talking to my laptop and it's boring. What I want you guys to do now is I want you guys to go and find out more about SDG3. Find out more about good health and well-being and what I want you guys to do, okay, to get your attendance taken for today's class, I want you to provide some potential topics for your second presentation. And I want you to post it in our discussion board in week five. Okay, so remember that will serve as your attendance for today. Please complete it today as well. All right, so. Thank you so much for joining me in our session for today. And I also want to apologize to each and every one of you for having you guys to wait for me for half an hour earlier. But I hope I do justice because um, I don't want to, you know, take your time because you guys pay for this. Remember, try, uh, watch this video and also try to provide potential topics in your discussion board. That will be your attendance for today okay so thank you so much for joining me today guys thank you thank you thank you have a wonderful lunch okay have a wonderful brunch whatever okay have a good day guys